Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Adiola Patron. You know the vibes already. And we have had a manic few days. Guys, I was shaking my ass last night. I went to Henry's party. Stupid me, I booked a hair appointment. But this is before I even knew the days for Henry's party. I booked a hair appointment for the 22nd, which is today at 9.30 a.m. in Luton. Guys, I didn't even realize it was in Luton until I got the confirmation and I felt too stupid to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know it was in Luton. Guys, if I look crazy, it's because I've just got up my cameras. Oh. I just need to go and just take my dog out and make her move. Guys, I think I'm still hungover. Guys, I'm trying a different, a different, something different today. Shout out to Curl Queen for sponsoring today's video. Your girl is trying micro links. I don't want to have it as a bob so it looks natural because my natural hair at the minute is like bob length. So I think that will be super, super cute. straightening in my hair and putting hot products on my hair so I kind of had to only have that for like a week and then I had to make my way to Manchester for something really exciting so basically I was hosting with Shabazz Regal in Manchester at Oak Trafford to do football so I was also talking to the footballers and I was commentating guys I knew nothing about football so it was like a lot for me but I was so excited because I was like I love this so much Now I'm in Manchester, right? We got to the hotel, right? And there was a bit of a confusion with my hotel, so I thought I was gonna be staying at the Allen. When I saw this hotel outside, I was thinking, um, it's giving old vibes, and guys, I'm such a modern babe, like I love things to look futuristic, I like to feel like just ceilings and just glass and just contemporary and just like clean and nude and white and brown so when i saw that outside i was thinking it's given victorian like you know the hotels in london that they make you pay 600 pounds for and it's just like to me i don't like that decor it's just given vintage and old and like henry the eighth that's what it was given so that's what i thought it was going to be like inside so when i got inside i was like oh my gosh it's kind of cute you know that's where i booked for my lovely friend ash to stay because i was like okay we might as well stay in the same place looking looking for my name they're like oh yeah no we can't find your name and i'm like what do you mean you can't find my name they're like oh yeah you can't find your name and i was like okay cool then i get the drop that i'm not actually staying in that hotel so i was like okay well let's go drop his stuff over and then obviously i can still just pre the hotel when i got into his room i was like oh my gosh this is such a vibe like it was really cute <laughs> mix of two but it was given like industrial but I really liked it and I really wanted it to be my room but it wasn't my room so then we went to my hotel and then I was kind of a bit anxious because I was like well now I've seen this hotel if this is not going to be my room on this level I'm actually going to be upset got to my hotel and my hotel was nice like it was cute like I don't really have anything else to say about it but it was cute like I didn't not like it but it was nice I like the bathroom was really really nice like, I think my bathroom was my favorite spot of the whole room And what I like about Manchester is 
everything was just so close together. Like it was literally just like a five minute walk to um, Ash's hotel and just everything was just guys and it was so freaking cheap like guys i went to starbucks sorry i didn't vlog that but i went to starbucks my the tall big one my by the way my starbucks order is um mango passion fruit with lemonade four pumps of simple syrup and then sometimes i take out the dragon fruit bits and i put strawberry bits right in london i'm spending like nine pounds in Manchester, it was £5.70. And when he told me £5.70, I had to reread my order to him because I thought he got it wrong. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, no, the big one. He was like, yeah. And I was like, no, the big one. He was like, yeah. And I was like, £5.70. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. That is so cheap. Like, guys, we're getting bumped. And then Ash even bought, like, three pairs of Air Forces for £40. And they were in stock. But we can't do that in London anymore. Like resellers are selling it for over hundred pounds, and that's if it's even in stock. <sighs> Anyways, and then I had to go get my hair done by this lovely, lovely, lovely girl. I had to put up her Insta post because I told you about the situation with my hair. I didn't want to put products on my hair, guys. I've been going out back to back to back, so my hair was all curling up like my natural hair. And I was like, you know what? Let me try my luck and see if there's anyone in Manny that can do my hair. Obviously, you guys always come free for your girl you gave me bare recommendations and so i made my way to this new stylist i wasn't a bit nervous because i was like saw her page and it looked lit so yeah and her um her hosting skills she was giving me mini fanta not one but two she was giving me water i was like oh this is so cute and her, her apartment was so nice and it was Guys, not to even say her business, but the rent in Manchester is so much better than what we get in London. I was like, I feel like I could just move here. I can't, but I feel like in my head I could. So anyway, I got my hair done. She slayed my hair. She gave me this wig, guys, that I still have on now. It's um, Vietnamese hair, and she sells it as a wig, this color and everything. So make sure you check it out. Obviously, I'm going to press today because anyway, we'll get to how I even got here, right? I should let go. Tour. I hope this guy doesn't cancel. Guys, I'm so tired. But guys, she provided me with the hair in store, took out my micro link. She was a great host. If you're from Manchester or coming to Manchester, make sure if you check her out. She styled my hair really good. You guys will obviously you can see how the vibes are. She done it, she done her thing. So then we made our way to go and have dinner. Uh, that was a nice vibe, guys. The drinks were flowing. Obviously, um, Shivas Regal is the one that brought us to Mani. So all the drinks were Shivas Regal. They, they was giving all these new different cocktails. I was just sipping, sipping, sipping. Even from when I even landed in Mani, when we went to a brunch, I was just sipping cocktails from then. So yeah. Went to dinner, saw the girls. Well, not the girls. Well, Harry is kind of part of the girls now at this point. But yeah, saw Henry, I saw Harry. Those are two people that I already knew that were there but then I met so many other new faces and it was just such a vibe and then the next day we went to the hosting at Old Trafford and guys I didn't really think I was gonna be into football like the way I was you know but when I got there that the spirit of football just entered me I just felt like a while I was on the pitch doing me kind of working but kind of just waffling <laughs> and then I went to do my job which was commentating on the football and guys I actually feel like I did really well because I had a really good co-host which was Jordi and he's like a professional at this, like he's proper into football and I was learning so many new words like um, long shot, intercepting, I actually already knew that. I just had a great time, that's all I have to say. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Henry. Hi. <laughs> Let me show you now. So was you commentating last year? Yeah, and the year before, I think, yeah. Okay, I can do it. I've never really spoken about it like that. Is it? See, this is why. This why is why don't works. you? Because it makes you sick. It makes me sick too. But I've <laughs> got like people that don't speak about it. Are dogs. you a lover girl? I've got mugs. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Would you come on our pod? I would, but be so shy. If it's to talk about 
talk about love. What am I gonna do? No, not just love though. Oh, if it's about life stuff, yeah, absolutely. Might get into love. love. love stuff. Yeah. If you come on mine as well. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, We've been on. Oh, kiss. Yeah, kiss. Yeah, kiss. Yeah, kiss. Okay, cool. Hey guys, so we're on our way to the stadium. I found out the other day that I'm commentating. I thought yeah, I was hosting. Right. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so guys, just, quick, just quickly to recap. Obviously, Henry, you're pitch side the whole time. Yeah. I'm sure Tom's already told you. Jordi, Adioli, you guys are commentating the game, mm. right? But then obviously you're joining Henry and doing some pitch side stuff as well. Mm. Yeah? So uh, Jordi and Adiola, go with Louis. Yes, he's just going to set things up in the commentary. Uh, gantry area. Yeah. Just so we're clear, when, at, one point, at what point does Ariel leave you? So I think she should leave you basically when the teams are going to do the walkouts okay. through the tunnel. Oh, okay. So it's basically just pre game when you do some warm up on the pitch. Okay, and I, 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 you join Henry, you guys just interview yeah, people pre game, yeah, ask yeah. them yeah, 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 yeah. um, and, uh, and then post game as well, potentially yeah. Jordy just commentating on the end of the game, like trophy celebrations and stuff. Yeah. And you can join Henry. Thank you. Guys, I'm on the pitch. This very pitch. We have had legends touch this pitch. We have had Wayne Rooney, David Beckham, who else does my dance support? Just everyone you can think of, Messi. We have had Cristiano Ronaldo, and here I am, Adiola Patron, on the same very grass they stood on. This whole stadium will be packed out today for me. I will be commentating, not only commentating, I will be hosting on this pitch today in Manchester. <laughs> I said to you before on my pitch not only have legends been on this very same pitch I will also be crowning the winner with this trophy this trophy has been in the century for years it has been passed down between Man U to Liverpool to Arsenal to here today where I will be giving it to either the Regal Blacks or the Shivas something either way it doesn't matter it is all in my hands Nigerian footballers. Saku. Saka. We've Saka. actually we've, we've just been through this. Saka and Dele. Ali. Do you know what she gets it? Yeah, Dele Ali. Oh, you just guessed it. Yeah, Nigeria and Nigeria. Yeah, Dele. Dele Ali. She actually gets that. Ah, right, that's cold. You should know one more. You want one more? Yeah, yeah. one more. Ah, one cool. More. I want you to give me. Oh, let's see if you lot no, really know football, yeah? Yeah. Three footballers that were, are from South London. Oh, South I can London do this. Winners. Yeah, we, I can do this. So there's a mixed race from guy. From in the lifetime Look of Look at football. me, because yeah. we might be able to get this together. There's a mixed race guy mm -hmm. who comes from Peckham, yeah? And he plays, used to play for Manchester United, and I have his name in my head. Beckham. No, because Beckham went through a light skin phase. <laughs> he actually did. Absolutely not. Not him. Three, three footballers from South I can do this. I can actually, first of all, Jaden Sancho, okay. number one. Yeah. Kennington when it started. Yeah. Marcus Rashford is not from this city, from London. Rio Ferdinand. Yes. Oh, go thank you. Thank you. South London, South, South, South. Saka? Who's it? No, uh, he's not from South though. He's just from London. One more fight for it. Who's the guy? Harry Panera at this point. Harry Panera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually taking this very seriously. I don't have a third. I don't have a third. Well, it was a good track. Who? Who's, who would be number three? Give me one Ram, person. Wamba Saka. I said Saka. I didn't even know he was from oh, this you country. Said Saka. Oh, oh, Saka's from. Wamba Saka's from. Um, is he English? South, He's British. He? I did. I thought he was like. German. Oh, what about Lukaku? No. He is not British. <laughs> oh. He's French. Go, oh, guys. This old man is watching the football. Sorry, sorry. I think I had no, more. That, that is funny. That was good. That was oh funny. my god. The World Cup know. one. The World Cup one. It's wow. Argentina. Uh, oh, yeah. but France versus Argentina, Jay right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You lot. Oh, you actually knew that. But he was nearly that. there. I knew mean, France was And why did you tell. Jordan, you should have told him. No, of course, it's perfect watching them fight. Can you guys give me two Chelsea players? Mm -hmm. From this generation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Um, 
current current Chelsea players. Ruben, or in life, how many do you in life? Ruben ass cheeks. Ruben Ruben what cheeks? Low says cheek. Low to cheek. Adiola? Cristiano Ronaldo. That's just a come on. <laughs> no, you can't move the camera. 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 So guys, the lads and the girls, they're starting to come out on my pitch. They're all asking me permission and what I think of their fit. Yeah. So I told, I told Harry to wear black because it's my favourite colour. Everyone's hair for me, really and truly. Adiola. So I actually made this specially for Harry. I got it in from China. Yes, 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 yes. He's wearing black because it's my favourite colour. And also he's the number um, six. <laughs> because I'm born on the sixth month. So what can we expect from you today, Harry? Um, a defensive performance. Yes. Um, I'm a captain. Oh, so, um, oh, captain? Yeah, yeah, I'm captain, I'm captain. Because uh, I have experience on this pitch. It's the third time I'll be playing on there. So just to get that. But, yeah. Um, and yeah, just literally just control the team yeah. and make sure that we you know, provide the best service to the fans. As you can see, there's a full... We can pan to how much people deserve it's, it's there. It's literally packed but it's out packed there. to the rafters right now. We just want to make sure that we give them the best that they can. Literally. You know what I mean? I was actually saying that. I've actually never seen one before. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you know, you're carrying that at the back there as well. So that's, that's the thing though. That's the thing that weighs me back. It eats it a little bit. It, it takes away from the speed. So I should be doing 100 miles per hour, but I can only do 60. And that's fine. That's what's all glory to God anyway at the end of the day. Literally. Anyola, but I would love to see you on the pitch though. Do you know what? One day I will be on there and I know I'll probably be golfing for the clothes. I defend everyone in my life. Okay. Well, thank you, Adiola, so much. I think you're great at doing what you're doing right now. Thank you so much. You're probably the best host in the world. But yeah, I will see you on there, and I will be commentating. And if I celebrate, I'll score prediction. High scoring. I think it's going to be six five to you, the black team. Yeah. Because yeah. Black lives do obviously matter. Always. You know, and I think everyone should be supporting the black team. Literally. Otherwise, it says a lot about what you're thinking. And what does uh, Chivas? Okay. Well. For me, obviously, we have uh, the name Regal Rebels. Yeah. And what does being a rebel mean to you? Ooh, a rebel means not following rules that are set by you if you know that your boundaries only exist. Yeah, 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 obviously. Ooh. That was poet. Poet right there. Thank you. And that is it from Harry Panero HP, like the source. Um, next time we'll see him, he will be gracing us on this very pitch that I created. Thank you guys for joining me today. See Shamik. I can see, well, do you know what? We were supposed to have Poet, but he's a bit of a no-show right now. Where, where's Poet? I was looking I, forward to seeing him. I don't know. You know. I think he's doing this fashionably late thing. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything you're looking forward to seeing? A goal. Okay. I want to know who's going to be the first person to score a goal. I can't wait to see these look one up and down. Is that what you, is that what you, <laughs> is that what you can't wait for, yeah? And their legs look good. And the girls look Ooh, good too. Is that, is that harder? Don't, uh, don't underestimate the girls, you know. Shamik here, yeah? the gentleman by the goalkeeper there. Fantastic football. Can we talk about the goalkeeper? Oh, real one. Orange top. Mm. Raw, what's that? He's gonna be defending. Okay, and what do you see that um, makes you think? You know them biceps? They're gonna be... Oh. They're, gonna fit. They're gonna be pushing them balls away. Okay, okay. I need to In see that whites. again. Okay. The elation. He took his time with it as well. He twanged him. He had feet. That is good footwork. He's squared Passed across. It. Oh. And his first time finish. Biceps just missed it. Unlucky biceps, man. It looks like the 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 rebels are having a team talk now. Oh man, that is good food, Ooh. good footwork by um. I Shamik. can't lie, that was a nice goal. All right, let's unveil this beautiful looking Shimtrigal Game Day trophy, and it's time to hand it to the winning team. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. my hotel room and I was like okay cool I'm gonna leave tomorrow morning because I'm so tired 
And then my friend called me and was like, as you know, we're going to this day party, which by the way, I patterned the day party for them because I thought I was going to go to the day party, but then work came up, so I couldn't go. So when she called me, she was like, oh, you're done now, you can probably make it. And I don't know what it is, the spirit of summer is in me. Anyway, as Karisha said in her new song, At Bad, we stay outside. So I was like, you know what, I think I can make it to Manchester, in, to London and still make it to the day party packed all my stuff quickly and I was like trying to catch the train that same night bearing in mind I was so tired and the plan was to sleep and leave the next morning got on that train that same night guys but by the time I got to London I thought I'd probably be able to make the day party but I got into London around 10 p.m and the day party finished about 11 p.m and I just thought you know what Adiola you're actually tired you're not gonna make it you've got a whole suitcase you're not actually really dressed for a day party just go home so yeah I went home and then I woke up in my flat this morning which was actually kind of good because I got to lay in and I didn't have to come back to Manchester come home from Manchester today which is what they originally what that was originally the plan anyway and then I would have to come back quickly get ready for press whereas I was already at home so I kind of had a smooth morning we're all caught up so I'm currently on my way to press today I don't know I can't remember what we're shooting I did have the meeting this morning but I actually can't remember oh we're shooting about um how me and Maz have influenced each other's lives since we've been in each other's lives so that should be a good episode once I've done oh and Maz is bringing back my dog you're probably wondering where Stormy Maz has been looking after her so I'll pick her up from press come home today and then my sister's gonna do my hair we're gonna do some braids for DLT and then tomorrow I'm shooting I feel like I'm gonna tell you guys in the vlog I'm gonna tell you guys in the vlog so it's like an exclusive basically your girl has her own show coming out if you watched my vlogs previously you would know where the show is gonna be because I kind of told you guys when I was on my way to have a meeting to pitch to have my own show so your girl got her own show and it's coming and I'm filming it tomorrow it's a 10 hour shoot and then I'm filming it what's the day after tomorrow I can't remember what day it is the first yes I'm filming tomorrow and the first and then the second we fly out to Malta, which I will not be vlogging because I'll be living my best life. Come back and then we have a, I have another two day shoot for my show, which will be coming out in July. <laughs> so yeah, we're all caught up now and we can just continue watching and enjoying this movie I am creating for you. Guys, can you make sure you like this video as well because it helps me out and then I can continue to um, have help when I shoot my videos to improve my quality because um, the person behind the camera is not cheap. They probably thought this girl's Yeah, they probably thought I was kind of my own yam or something. Yeah, they probably thought I was kind of my own yam or something. So I ordered it again because. Yeah. Does it work? Because I had um, my mum. Put on today. So nice. Oh, I'm so lucky. Yeah, babe, I got Did you take some home? Yeah, I some safe before press. Did you take some home? I don't even want nothing like that. I haven't got you some. Really? Yeah. I've got, um, what's eggsy? Eggsy? Eggsy. Like the yellowy. Yeah, yeah. I've got that one. Oh, yellow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Babe, she's out. Uh, this is, this is what's annoying when your dog can bark. <laughs> if we weren't where we were, I'd bark. I'm going to go where we were. Okay, let's get going. Just, just I'm going to have a coat to You got sparkling water? I did. Yeah. Oh, I, like yeah. I was thinking it tastes like coke. Yeah. I literally just to... save it for the episode. She's going to mention it. Yeah. <laughs> we're here now. Like How does that weird? Yeah. How about the sugar? <laughs> In the daytime, I know I'm not doing my makeup. I'm literally just doing my brows. You I'm in for a good time. You know what I mean? Because then you're literally gonna come home, get changed, and then go to the next thing. Because the day and stuff finish at like. What time did it start? Like 11, 10. That's what it says about really? 10 but people obviously won't get that. At that time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this wig off until after the thing. 
Until after Thursday. Oh, but you went after Malta. Oh, no, 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 no. I probably went to end up like this. I just feel like, oh, I don't think I'd be asked to do braids either, you know? I don't think I'd be asked to stay babe, to st- just to stay. I can't lie, like, it's long. Yeah, babe, but you're going to just deal with it as well. What do you think you can do? Oh, my sister's going to do my braids. Oh, so you're lucky. I, just, I, I know I can't be asked now. Because right? I'm doing it at my house now. I feel a bit better. More easy. Oh, yeah. I think I'll just. And I was thinking, even if I'll box you now, if you can't do it, I'll just do it after. Um, I'll shoot on the first day. I'll just come home, shower, do it properly, take my time. And oh, wow. Well. Yeah, just take, like, take ages with it. Hi guys, it's your girl Adiola Patron. You know the vibes already. Hey guys, it's me, Mara Musa, your Miss Unproblematic, and welcome back to the Press Podcast. Oh, so this episode, Mm -hmm. I was saying to, well, if you've been listening, there was an episode I said to Maz, I wanted her to list everything that (laughs) I've influenced her. And then she was like, and you need to list everything I've, she's influenced on me. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let's take it back and actually bring that today. Oh, how do we start? Because I feel like we we spent so much time together now. We might even forget. Yeah, we might forget. I feel like we've taken so much from each other and it would actually be good to kind of digest it and see like the positives and also maybe the negatives as well. Ah! Yes. (laughs) Yeah, because... I have some bad traits instead of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. How do we, should we start with the... Okay, should we start with some three good things and like go okay. into details? Do you want to start or should I start? You start. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I feel like Adjola has like positively influenced me on will be water. Okay? Adjola, this girl drinks water. She makes me feel bad when I'm not drinking water. I, was, I thought I was all right. Like, at least I'd drink it, like, at least once a day. Like, whatever. <laughs> this girl always has it around her in the house. And she'll just be drinking, drinking, drinking. So, I feel like watching you drink made me realise I do not drink enough water. And that really positively impacted me. Because even, guys, to the to the actual water brand. So, she drinks <laughs> a special water from um, it's this shop. Special. It's not that special. <laughs> but now that I've, I kept drinking that water. So, now when I... She changed her water up. I was like at her house once. Yes. I was like, this tastes funny. This isn't your usual yes. one because I was so used to the one that she was drinking before. So that's one I'd say. Let's let's go back across because Oh, I'm, okay. Your turn. Oh. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about that? Okay, so the first one I will say Ooh. is my dog. I feel like, yeah, you definitely influenced me in getting a dog (laughs) because I don't think I ever would have got one with you. Especially, like, seeing how you were with Mimi and then I obviously looked looked after Mimi. So then I got Stormy. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel like whilst do you feel like getting a dog has kind of changed you a little bit as well? Because I feel like you've become more nurturing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're so nurturing with her. Like even when you're like, oh my baby, like you get so <laughs> gushy with her, and it's like it's. I never get to see that. So I think like getting a dog. I can imagine as a mum now. Like I can yeah. see what you'd be, what kind of mum you'll be. Like this girl, if like if her daughter isn't allowed, like for example, chips or McDonald's, she won't give her daughter <laughs> chips or McDonald's. She's like, nope, she's not allowed it. Cause, and then yeah. you'll be the one, the auntie that yeah. she goes to. And yeah. You will spoil. I know yeah. the kind of mum you'll be. She'll 100%. spoil. Yeah. Our kid, my, my kids. Yeah, she, but, uh, but Auntie Mazza's house, she lets me, yeah. blah, blah, blah. That's how I can imagine it. You're like, well, you're not at Auntie Mazza's house. You're yeah, home. literally. Because, so. guys, when I give Stormy to Maz, um, my, Stormy just has so much fun because I feel like she gets to let loose a bit. I think I'm an up, I would be an uptight parent. <laughs> like, I'll just always be worried about, oh my gosh, this, but they say yeah. they can't do this, 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 yeah. and that. Whereas Maz will be a, lot, a bit more lenient. Like, let them have fun. Yeah. They can still have a bit of sugar. <laughs> I put her Shannon in that band as well, the super oh, rock, her tiny yeah, thing. I forgot to ask you. Oh, thank you. Um, how do you feel about his Father's Day coming up? Yes, can we get my dad in? Yeah? We, yeah, I mean, you guys need to meet my dad. Yeah. Okay. That was a good, ep- nice and cute episode, like always. Oh, lovely. What's his name? What should I call him? Um, you call Daddy him Cinnamon. <laughs> like, you call him Sule or Musa. Sule! Or Musa might be easier. Do you know what Sule means in Yoruba? Mm-mm. Like a slow pitch. Like, why are you moving like a Sule? I don't think that's what it means. No, it. But his name is Sulemon. Oh, so that's like. That, oh, so it's not actually yeah. silly. No, well, I thought. But is that just like a short? Yeah, word? it's I still. Mean, I think it's still I don't know my dad's name. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's Solomon. Is it Solomon? It's Solomon. So, so, guys, you know Solomon. what I mean. Like, yeah. if you're if you're Nigerian yeah. and you're a boss, Sule is like you, your mum will say to you as an insult. Like, yeah. Don't oh, move that. Be Sule. Oh right, I don't think I've heard that. Is it? Okay. I'm just gonna tie it in the house and treat it. You're so lucky to have it in the house. 
really? Malish, you're doing your, that you're actually doing your hair getting over and done with. Yeah, true. And you don't have to do it. True. And I really like this wig colour. Thank you. I've got it in Manchester. Thank, Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. See you next week. Have a great time. See you there. To the front as you come out. She walks ahead, but she always looks back like that. Like, am I doing okay? There, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. Back home to the strict household. <laughs> <laughs> no running around, nothing. Oh. I felt so bad though because when we were leaving, Mimi was standing by the door like, as in, oh, oh what, you're leaving me? Yeah, I felt so her. bad, babe. I was like, it's nothing oh, yeah. So we just finished the podcast. Joe's gonna get her hair did. I'm gonna tidy up my house, and um, I guess we're just getting ready for Malta and the Big Show. Yeah, we're not vlogging at Malta, though. No, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a lot of TikTok lives. Yeah, while we're getting energy and stuff. Oh, this vlog. Thank you.